All right, welcome to part two of my tutorial. In part two, what we're going to be doing is adding in our UV sphere, and we're going to be programming it so it'll work. And uh, if we have time, what we're going to do is uh, set up the camera so that it'll follow the cube. So to get started, you want to make sure that you have your maze file open. And let's go into object mode here. And we're going to add, mesh, and select UV sphere, and click OK. And that UV sphere is going to come in wherever you have your cursor, which is that little white and red circle. And I'm going to hit period on the number pad so that we can zoom in on the sphere here. And as you can see, when we put in the sphere, it's bigger than our walls are or our floor. So what we're going to do is hit S, and we're going to size it down. And I'm going to bring it to the front of the maze. and I'm going to zoom in on it again here. What we're going to do with our sphere so it's not so plain is we're going to sculpt it. So in order to sculpt this sphere I'm going to get it where I can see it and hit period to zoom in on it. We're going to give it like a little face so what we're going to do is go into sculpt mode and press in on your keyboard like Nancy and that'll bring up the sculpt properties and you're gonna go ahead and draw a little face this can be however you want it to be give it some eyebrows I'm gonna go through this kinda quickly because my class has already done it give it some eyes give it a nose I'll use this pinch, kind of pinch the nose. And I'll give it some pointy ears. We're basically giving our our uh, sphere some character here. Oops, it's on subtract. Let's see. I'm going to give him a little mouth. I'm going to do this pretty quick for the sake of the video. Alright, so basically, make a little creature. He's going to be the one going through your maze. He's your good guy. Alright, so once you're done sculpting him, we're going to go back to object mode. And we're going to click on the logic button, or you can hit F4. And we're going to put in our controls for him. Now when you're putting in your controls, you have to look at which way you set up your maze. My green arrow, which is the y-axis, is going up and down. And my red axis, which is the x, is pointing to the right. So we're going to do that accordingly. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the sensors, the controllers, and the actuators. And what you want to do first with the first sensor, we're going to go to keyboard here and you click on where it says key and we're going to do the up arrow first and you want to connect your sensor to your controller and then your controller to your actuator so when you push the up arrow we're telling it to do something and right now it says simple motion this is because it's still static so what we need to do is change it to rigid body make it an actor and check bounds where it says LINV, that stands for Linear Velocity. And we want up to go the same direction as the green arrow. So our green direction is our Y axis. So that corresponds to the middle column here. So where it says the row is uh, LINV and the middle column, we're going to give it a positive value. So we're going to do, we're going to give it a value of 10 and then hit enter. So we're telling it to move in a line along the y-axis, which is your green arrow. So if I hit P, and then I hit the up arrow, it's going to move forward. Okay. 
and we can always change the values feel free to change them I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna try it at 5 and see if that goes a little slower there we go so I'll leave it at 5 and you can hide these by clicking on the little triangles now what we're gonna do I'm gonna hold the middle mouse button I'm gonna move this up if you hold the middle mouse button you can move um, this up and down okay so I'm gonna add in a new sensor controller and actuator I'm gonna go to keyboard for my sensor and I'm gonna do the down arrow so I'm gonna push down I'm gonna connect my sensor to my controller and down is just the opposite way so where it says LINB in the middle column I'm gonna put a negative 5 and that'll set it up so that it's negative negative moves in the opposite direction and I'm gonna go ahead and add the right key so keyboard go to the key and I'm gonna hit the right arrow key connect it to the controller connect the controller to the actuator now our right key corresponds if we're looking at it this way our right key corresponds to the red arrow which is the x-axis so that's going to be the first column here so find the row where it says LINV and the first column and give it a positive value of 5 and let's add another sensor controller and actuator Oops. And if you mess up and want to delete one of these, all you do is left click it. It'll turn white. Or just hold your mouse on it with the pointer and hit delete. And that'll delete them in case you mess up. Alright, so our last keyboard sensor is going to be the left key. So we're going to select key, hit left. I've connected the sensor to the controller. And I'm putting the controller to the actuator. And we're just going to make this one negative 5 okay and I'm gonna put all these up and if you hold the mouse button over the middle here it'll give you this double arrow and you can left click and drag down so you can see your maze better and we can go ahead and try it out so I'm gonna hit P so I've got left, I've got up, I've got right and I have down so all my keys are working now what I need to do is set up my camera so that it'll follow my object so what we're going to be doing now is we're gonna right click and select the camera and you wanna make sure that you have the logic button selected or hit F4 and we're gonna add a sensor a controller and an actuator for our camera the sensor for our camera is going to be on always so our camera is always following our object and then connect the controller to the actuator and instead of having a motion actuator we're going to have a camera actuator and we have to set it to our object so if you right click on your object and you go to the object menu F7 it'll tell you what the object's name is it's sphere with a capital S so we'll go back to the camera and go back to the logic button and we have to tell it which object to follow which is our sphere so we're gonna do sphere it has a minimum height I'm gonna leave the minimum height at zero the maximum height I'm gonna put in is 20 and then the actual height when it starts off I'm gonna put it at 15 and then our camera is now set up so to view what we've done you're gonna hit zero on your number pad so you can see the camera here and I'm gonna drag this down so we can see it better and then once you have once you're in camera view you can hit play and you'll be able to play your game
There we go. So I'll escape from that. Now, if your camera's not doing what you want, you can always go back and change these settings. You can adjust the height so it'll stay on your your object. It'll be right on it. Um, basically, change the settings so that it'll, it'll make it work for your maze. And then once you've done that, you're done with part two. Thank you. Also, make sure you want to save. You go to File, Save when you are done. Always save your work. Thank you.